welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Mike. Yo. And Riley. Hey. Chelsea. And John. Hi. So, uh, guys, what are you drinking tonight? That's a great <clears throat> question, Steve. We are drinking a well-read wine um, that has no traces <laughs> whatsoever, according to this bottle, of detectable sulfate. No detectable. Sulfates. None detectable. No detectable sulfate. So I'm down with that. Mm -hmm. And it's organic, and it's six bucks, and it's damn good. So. Key. Yeah. There, there's, there's some very good selling points and factors on there. Good. <laughs> it's good. And how's it taste? Again, exactly. Splendid. Splendid. <laughs> Splendid, he says. I'm assuming yeah. we'll get that endorsement check in no time. <laughs> yeah. It's in the mail already. One day. <laughs> Notes of brownness. <laughs> Notes of brownness. <laughs> Fruity, actually. It's very well read. Mm, very well read. Earthy. Earthy. Very earthy. Actually, a a wonderful bouquet. A wonderful bouquet, that's yeah. the word, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's flowery like bouquet. It's like spring. Uh, okay. It's like <laughs> it's like springtime in a It's bottle. like drinking right. spring. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> All right, so we've messed around for long enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> enough to bring up yeah. The <laughs> so, what do you think about people who receive benefits like social security, welfare? You know. Um, Burn them at the stake. Different things like that. Burn them at the stake. I love them. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I actually, like, I don't think it matters anymore. That's just, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I, I think of it as a very pragmatic thing, is that it's, when it comes to any sort of rational sense of, of what money is or how the economy works, we're so far over the cliff, it's not even, like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You know, maybe, maybe if, if it was actual, like, some sort of, you know, uh, you know, tangible or at least rational uh, economy, then I might be like, well, you know, hey, you're kind of taking away somebody else's blah, 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 you know, but... Is it, is it not theft, though? It's not real. Like, that's, <laughs> that, that's, just, that's what I'm saying, is that, like, I guess I'm looking, thinking of it in a, like, like, a really pragmatic sense. It's just not real. What's not real? The, the numbers, numbers aren't real. The numbers on the screen. It's just mm -hmm. ones and zeros. Right. And, and those ones and zeros have amounted to a, the, a sum of 19 trillion dollars at this point of ones and zeros of debt. It's not even like green ones and zeros, they're red ones and zeros. It's already too far gone. But they exchange goods and services for those ones and zeros. This is true. Right. But if it's coming from a centralized authority that can essentially fictionalize whatever sort of numbers that they have at any point in time rationally. Because who's really like, not, not rationally, but I mean, they could do it. Because who's to say what, how many ones and zeros they have? Who can they audit, are. who can, yeah, who can audit, <laughs> the, yeah, who's going to audit the Fed? That's not happening. I, Dude, so. I, I, I looked into us and we are on the level. <laughs> yeah. All of our books are clean, <laughs> as it turns out. Yeah. So that's, that's just the way I think of it. I'm thinking of it like in, in a pragmatic sense at this point, which is pretty rare for me because usually I'm always like, oh, principled stuff. And, but yeah, no. Uh, it's not real, so it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Did it just they, doesn't matter. Did they owe it us just a doesn't matter. Did, did, Sorry. Did they owe us a living? Of course they fucking do. <laughs> 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 Let's be real. Like, Who's yeah. they? The gov, dude. The gov. The gov owe us, like, fucking the USG. money and the USG. shit. Yeah, they owe us, like, fucking whatever we can get. Sometimes. Um, no, I mean, I don't think... But whatever I mean, they took from you is already spent and gone. I know. So if somebody else is getting a service or whatever provi provided for them that helps them out, then, you know, I mean, at least that's, like, a good thing that's coming from them all. Um, you know, like, you, you know, the people, you get the part of my check that gets taken out, it's like Medicare or, you know, whatever social service this is or that is. That stuff, like, I don't even have that much of a problem with. It'd be really cool if I could, like, check a box and, like, designate, like, mm -hmm. how much money I want to put into these things. That'd be, like, way, way cooler. But I what about that's, zero? That's where if you I go wanted to, it. yeah, that'd yeah. be much more preferable than having it taken out, you know, without my consent or whatever. But, but if I decide somebody else should hold on to my money for retirement. Right. Yeah, exactly. If you could 
delegate where you're actually your your money. So in other words, going. if I if you could control your own your own money, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The crazy idea is that. But is, I kind of right? like controlling your money. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go spread some of your money over here, John's, blowing up John's these people. John's got some projects he wants to do. <laughs> blowing up these people. It'll benefit no everybody. <laughs> yeah, but so the, the, the but the the big problem that I have though is the big chunk of change that comes out of my paycheck, which is the the uh, what the the federal income tax. Yeah. Which and all that money is going to pay for right now. <coughs> it's yeah. like debt, debt money beat. back on the debt to the feds who printed the money in the first place. And <laughs> what are they in the business of? Like financing wars, right? And it, you know, it's so it, it's just it, it, it just makes me sick. The, the it enti- makes me so the sick. The entire, if I remember the statistic correctly, the entirety of of personal uh, U.S. income tax receipts does not even Service total enough interest. to pay the interest it, yeah. on yeah. the debt Re- okay. of the red ones and zeros. Wow. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so good. So it's just paying fictional money. Yeah. But, but, but getting... all that fictional money is, again, going to finance wars and fucking bullshit. Man. Mm-hmm. When I came into the, this awareness, so to speak, is when uh, I think David Walker was his name, when he was the, the uh, what do you call the accountant in general? The accountant general, but he's not called the accountant general. The head, Treasurer? the head of the uh, uh, Treasury Department. No, government accounting office, I think it is. Oh, okay. Anyway, he was. He actually, you go down to that website, and you look up. You know, this is the U.S. Whatever his title is, I just can't remember. It's, it's escaping me right now. But he'd get on there, basically telling people, "This is like 2006." He's saying by 2009, we won't be able to service the interest on the Debt, and that everyone who's listening needs to call their congressman and tell them this because this is pretty much financial Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Financial Armageddon. Speaking of financial Armageddon. <laughs> Canine Ar- Armageddon going on. Hey dogs of war are at our gates. <laughs> yeah. They've dogs broken through of our war gates. are at our gates. <laughs> I think that's how you do it, though. You get, you end up getting your full check, so you feel happier because of that. And then you, <laughs> there's little boxes that you could decide to donate to on things that can't be like uh, private, privatized. Like I think the roads could be privatized. I chased the yeti off. I'm back. Yeah. But it's I, important to well take played. care of people that can't take care of themselves. I think. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Of course. And whoever wants to do that should be allowed to do that. Yeah. But it shouldn't be forced on everyone. That choice shouldn't be forced on everyone. What if nobody, yeah, do you think sure. nobody would end up helping and then there would be I think a lot of people would end up he- yeah, like, helping. Yeah. I think a lot more people would. Right. Yeah, if they didn't you get You feel like you'd be so getting more money income. anyways, so you'd have, like, some to give, you know. Yeah. Or not give. But, I mean, yeah. So for example, Obama. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know any of the specifics or anything. I just heard a blip it on the on radar your, about on some, your phone. Uh, I don't know. Free phone. Uh, it might have been radio. I don't know exactly. I don't know where it came from. I heard it, but something about Obama wanting to give or suggesting Congress give. I don't know what the hell he was saying. About something about to the sum of like one point eight billion dollars for the uh, outbreak of the. Oh, Zika? the Zika? Yeah, I heard about that. So, so they print up all these imaginary ones and zeros that oh. pay for all this disaster capitalism. And and so, it, like, they create a vaccine. They go and they start <laughs> giving this vaccine, and the vaccine has problems potentially. And they they need a vaccine for the vaccine. We need to print more ones and zeros. To, <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and where's the end of this madness? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, wasn't there, there's a is, there's like a okay, it's uh, there. I I can't remember if it was for it was either for diabetes or as a psychoactive medication, and there is a medication. And I remember watching the commercial, sort of, I guess, because I can't remember which one it was for. But it was for the medication was for to take for complications for the medication you are oh, taking. Oh, yeah. And I was yeah. just like, I was just watching it like, medication. what? Yeah. I saw that. It okay, was probably so the bowel, the constipation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The opioids. Like your opiates. Yeah, yeah, your yeah, opiates yeah. may have you yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. If you're constipated from was. taking too many opiates, That's, here, take this yeah, other pill actually, so you won't be I watched like five minutes of the Super Bowl and that was the yeah. first thing <laughs> I saw, right? Yeah. And wouldn't you think that you would just be like, if you're constipated, 
take some fiber, you know? Like, but no, you have to take this pill, right? Like, the, the answer to constipation is water Apricots. and fiber and just, you know, break it down, <laughs> so to speak. The madness continues. So, kind of bringing it back on <laughs> the topic. I think we're right on the topic again. Let, let, let's look at it philosophically, though. Okay. Uh, in the, uh, praxematically, what's happening is they are stealing from you and giving it out to old people. That's social security. Okay. And then when you get to old age... You won't be there, right. <laughs> you're being paid right, right, for right. stuff that other people are being robbed for. Correct. Right. <laughs> theory. Yeah. So is that, is that theft on the part of the people of course it's collecting? It's all theft. <laughs> I think it's more theft on the people collecting than it is on the people receiving. Yeah, because they put it into it. And they just figure they're just getting what they can get, you know? Hey, you sort well, of most people, like, well, younger than me, know that it's not going to be there for when, when mm -hmm. they get older, right? So, like, they know that the scam, the scam is up. Mm-hmm. You know? We're at, we're at the end of the Ponzi scheme. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're at the end of the Ponzi scheme. Yeah, well, I mean. We like bagging groceries. As well. No, but so is it? They knew. I don't think so they, is it, they is, realized. Is it, is it you know, wrong for them so to collect it? Like now? Right. Yeah. No. Yes. No, it's not. Not to collect it, but not to, to own up to collecting it and putting it out. But that's one of those I mean, accounts that they can raid regularly, right? So it's important for them to continue to collect on it. Yeah, you won't, yeah, why wouldn't they collect on it? Who collecting who? Oh, the, the older people getting, getting social, social security? Yeah. Yeah. So the people getting, getting like social social common security. person is But then you have to look at everyone else, like them. the student loans, but medical they put assistance. Money into it, they should get it out. I mean, if I put yeah. money in, I, I should get it out. Yeah, that's part of the Well, scheme. just because yeah. you're robbed doesn't Stolen. mean that you need to I'm not perpetuate no. that no. robbery. I'm not from anybody. I'm just getting Here's the thing, okay, so the whole system is. But the money you're getting is coming from. Workers today, uh, workers well at the time that you're receiving okay, it, not the from. They're is not. Theft. They're not individual. Yeah, the but I'm willing to take my. Yeah. Yeah, your your portion, from, right? Yeah. yeah. If it's yeah. all if it's all a craps game, then yeah. you know you get your and chips and you collapses. cash them in and you, you play your hand and you don't. You, you, what are you yes, gonna do? You oh, I have. I, okay, so like for instance, like uh, I have like Native American, you know, uh, blood or whatever, and so like my, I don't on my mom's side the. We should, we should great granddad we should or compare, whatever. Uh, compare collection sometime. He he uh sure he um <laughs> he 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 didn't want to be you know receiving uh, money from the government mm -hmm. or whatever and so like now I can't receive money from the government <laughs> or whatever because it, but whatever I respect it you know like that's what's up like if you don't want to if you don't want to that's cool but i don't think it's like you know you getting your like high horse and be like oh you can't do that like if other people felt like yeah i've been jacked by the galvin if they're going to give me something i'll take whatever i can then if that's what people feel like is best their best in their best interest and i'm not going to like look down on that so I'm kind of thinking like... Do they owe us a living? They're taking, they're taking the fucking living, so they owe us a living, jeez. Two, two thoughts I'm having is like, okay, so so are you, is there any way that, that we are able to tally exactly how much money they've taken from us? Like, re, like is anybody... Like, sure, they send you an invoice. Yeah. Well, yeah. They but do. I mean, they say, they, we've about, collected this much social yeah. security from you. Since oh right yeah that's right they're like okay yeah, it's been a while since I've gotten like a check like that okay um, <laughs> but uh, anyways but the the other thing I was I was thinking of was um uh so not that you, go Steve go never mind <laughs> it's gone I didn't get enough sleep today. Uh, <laughs> So what do you think? Uh, I think that if everyone was to take what available supposed benefits and entitlements there are at once, the system would crack. And I'm all for it cracking. So take it. Rob the bank. 
<laughs> Not actually rob a bank, but you know, maybe. <laughs> Did I say that? No, I didn't. So uh, that FDIC thing—it's a scam too. Yes. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, uh, dependency, like maybe that—that that, that could be another issue, even with the fact that the money is not real. That people are. are are dependent <coughs> on it. Oh yeah. You know that they that, it, that it's become a crutch. So that is a that's a societal problem right there. Is that there people are like, well, if I just fill out these forms, they become dependent on government. Yeah, and then you know submit to whatever authority you know. Uh, well, that's something about it. Yeah, but I mean. People yeah. really well, know saw, how to okay. take advantage yeah, of it. I mean, you, you sign your, to get a driver's license, you, you sign something, right, that says you can be stopped and, and, and tested. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And so, like, mm -hmm. I didn't read that, and like, I got stopped, <laughs> and they're like, we're going to test you. I'm like, fucking, mm -hmm. you got to take my blood. <laughs> you, know, if you want it, dude? Like, I ain't giving it to you. I was like, and they, they, they brought me into, like, you know, like their facility or whatever and they like, brought in like six other guys like all like armed like with their hands on their fucking pistols no, no. and shit i was like maybe not but <laughs> essentially intimidation it, it was like traumatizing it was intimidation whatever. right and so i was like well if i give you my blood now like will i get my license back and they're like oh yeah you can get your license back You're like no bullshit right? but they can <laughs> lie to you right oh, of yeah. course yeah. they can lie to you and that's on the left but um so yeah, I mean, where do you draw that line of you know giving up your your whatever signing into this BS game to to take hold of what ought to be your natural liberty and right to be able to travel in a vehicle? Yeah, you gotta fucking sign that thing if you want a license and you don't want to have to deal with getting pulled over and you know arguing your case of sovereignty and everything. But you know what people do and people win and it's badass and it, it's great and people try and people are in jail and it's <laughs> unfortunate but you know those people are doing something they're holding to the principles that they have and i think that's a great thing um so but yeah i mean yeah dude take I, uh, what they will give you dude. i was thinking of like another scam uh too was that they uh the whole like passport thing and how they're like you know like, you need a passport to to leave and come back in the country oh, and so it's like stupid. well yeah they, there's there's rules about a plane but you can you know w walk into mexico and they don't care if you come in they're like hey welcome to mexico mm -hmm. you know but uh you when you go back they're like oh you need a passport to come back but if you show up and you're an american citizen they have to let you in so that whole like you need 80 dollars to go to mexico well, no you don't no, you don't. You just go to Mexico and come back and just... You're going to need a... Give, you a hard need how much time. is your time worth, though? Uh, you're going to need a passport to come back, though. Yeah. No. Aren't you? No. Just yeah. don't you're, forget your driver's uh, license. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't even... I think you, like, you need your As license. long as you have an ID. Yeah. Or, or a birth certificate or something. Yeah. Bir you got to have something, because I think they need... They want something very specific, more than ID no, they did. at this point. I didn't have my driver's license when I went to Mexico one day. Or any identification, <laughs> and I tried coming back, and he wouldn't let me. And they had to call my mom and tell her that I was in Mexico. Do you think proper form of identification? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. So, how much more of a scam is it that you can get back into the country traveling from Mexico but yes. specifically, <laughs> needing identification to show that you're a citizen? Mm -hmm. They've created a program called Global Pass, the Century Card. Which allows you to... Everything about that's creepy. Sorry. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a small amount of fee, yeah. we can ease your transition back into the States crossing the border. Huh. So it's all, all you have to do is give us all of your information, yeah, your yeah. DNA, all your... All of your information. All of it. And that would be the other and thing And you can go from, state, from country to country? Making money and making well, money and making money. Or no. From Mexico to the U.S. And there's oh, people that country. consent to that because it's convenient. Yeah, you know yeah. They travel to Mexico a lot. Is it the microchip thing? No, no, it's no, a car. No. It's just a car. Get, oh, okay. and a and a lane on, on the highway. Oh, you, you get a lane on the highway. You have to get. Color you have to go through like a yeah, yeah. A, a yeah. FBI secret clearance. Yeah. Yeah. It's a background check. Oh, yeah. It's a background Rob, check. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went through the a fast pass to Mexico, yeah. and they put me off into you know secondary, and they just left me there. Wow, like, oh. <laughs> I was there for like an hour and a half. I'm like, at what point did another come out? And they're like, no. At what point did another you consider driving off? That I did it. What? At one point, did you I consider did driving off? Like after like 20 minutes, where you're just I like, know. I think we're just gonna start driving. No, you're not coming. Yeah. But um, but the other thing about like collecting like benefits from the government, if you want to.
call them that is that you have to fill out all that paperwork and they love their paperwork and their rules and stuff. Yeah. So you, if you start accepting money from them, they're gonna be like, oh, well, we need this information from you. Oh, we need this information from you. Hey, we might stop by and check out and see what's going on because you got all these licenses and permits from us. So obviously you're okay with that. So we can we come in and check and look at your stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you people know, give all that shit on on Facebook anyway. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, people, privacy is like, Fair enough, but I agree with you, and I hear your argument the, with that. The black, mag the black magicians of this age have done a great job at convincing people that, like, personal privacy, and I'm, like, a fucking big, I don't, I'm a participant in it. It's, <laughs> like, it's, like, a non-existent or, like, you know, a not a valuable or something to be, like, considered. But, um, but yeah. So, I yeah, I, yeah, I hear your point, though. I mean, once you start taking, you, you don't bite the hand that feeds you, you know, mm -hmm. type of thing. Like, you, you start... Uh, the and more dependent you are, the less likely you are to rebel. Exactly, like you know. So yeah, you you want that independence or what have you, the sense of independence all the time, no doubt. And, and you know, no matter what you're receiving from the gov. If they get into like that weird position that they kind of want to get into, where it's like a cash cashless society and it's all on a card. Mm -hmm. That there's a there's a really scary amount of control there because think about it if you're having to buy everything with like a card yeah. and there's no physical transaction oh yeah and say it's all like hey uh, so you're uh, under arrest for something please surrender yourself into whatever police station and we gotta process this and go through a black robe under a lawyer and all that and you decide not to show up to the police station they'll just be like oh boop also, turn off your card and then you'll be fucked also <laughs> you know like out. where you're gonna get food from also you know? it me out about like. Uh, well, yeah, like the possibility of like cash in society, yeah. or, you know, mark like, of the beast, mark of the beast, type <laughs> stuff. Mark of the beast. you know what I mean? Getting the apocalyptic. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, not only identification, but auth authentication. I don't know if we were talking they about it. They can save your information in a tattoo now. Yeah, that's what we were talking. Yeah, we were talking about that. They can do a tiny tattoo on your hand or something. You can do it's RFID ink or something. Mm -hmm. They want to make and it. And they can like, just scan it and. And get you all your information. Yeah. Do, you, do you think it'll like it, it'll look or whatever to that information point you saved the on whole it? Thing kind of like kind of goes That's down the hill. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna, it's gonna go that far that we're all having like implants that yeah. are mandatory before, or it's just gonna. Blow There's a up revolution and going on. Man. I heard you yeah. Yeah. Like for real. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people would be down for that kind of stuff. Uh, this revolution. A change of awareness, right? Agricultural manufacturing. Financial revolutions going on, taking all different forms. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Empower things that well, are individually that. empowering. I mean, it's like there also happen to be tools that could further uh, tighten the reins of control on us. But they are definitely wild cards I, I, in the I, sense that that they could. I wouldn't put it past uh, past them to. Fabric, fabricate a revolution uh, in order to well, simulate I, chaos to get people clamoring for absolutely. more government. That's the fire in the minds of men. James Billington r writes how the American, French, and Russian revolutions were all uh, basically connected. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Russian Revolution was definitely, that was, that was banker money all over that one, for sure. But, uh, so, like, L Lenin took some government money, right? So, but then again, we're trying to, like... What do you mean, to Lenin took some government well, money? Well, like, that, he got money from the bankers. That's oh, yeah. Which was, you know, more or less kind of, like, wink, wink, nod, nod from the government, you know, to go over there and... Give the czar a hard, hard time. So if we're using that as a metric, and it, you know, nobody wants to really be compared to Lenin, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I was say World something. War Two is the same thing. Yeah, I've I've heard that. I haven't really looked into it though too much. Is that like so? I have a book I'll I'll lend it to you. I can't remember what it's called, mm -hmm. but essentially it points out that World War Two was created in order to expand. <laughs> Um, the reach. I buy um, it. Yeah, I mean there was, there, uh, 
There, it, there's some weird things about it, and definitely like trying to get the U.S. in the war was definitely something that was like kind of really staged up. You know, they 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 knew that the the Japanese fleet was coming across the Pacific. Well, wasn't Pearl Harbor, wasn't that kind of like a 9-11 thing? Yeah, well, yeah, no, it's just really similar. Yeah, I mean, same sort of same sort of situation. Uh, there are similarities of it, sorts. Yeah, yeah, but they... Certain knowledge, foreknowledge. Yeah. knowledge. They had already cracked the Japanese code, so when they were saying, they're like, oh, we didn't know it was coming, I was like, yeah, you did. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. So, yeah. I'd, I've, I've forgotten the names of it. There's a general and I think two admirals that got relieved in the lead-up to Pearl Harbor. And hmm. yeah, there's some official communication from the Pacific bitching to Washington saying, hey, because uh, Washington gave orders to pull key assets out from Pearl Harbor, hmm. but the vast majority of the fleet was left there it, to send a signal, essentially, sending a signal like, hey, here's a ripe uh, target for you. You can sink pretty much uh, the bulk of the 7th Fleet or whatever. Uh, right here at Pearl Harbor, so. And wasn't one of the uh, battleships, weren't they going to like decommission it in like a year or something like that, or like at the least like a couple of months, but probably it was like a it was like scheduled to be de decommissioned in a year or two years or something like that. So it was like, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a tragedy and people died, but that the, specifically with that, with that ship, that it was kind of like, kind of weird that that was one of the ones that was you know, sunk was, well, this one that was just about to, you know, be scrapped anyways. So. Hmm. Oh, going back, going back to um, that thing, identification, uh, authentication. So there's like a pill you can take. If you haven't patented, you can take like 30 a day. You take them every so often. Blue or red? I'm sorry? <laughs> Blue or red pills. That's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, not the kind you want to take, though. That's for sure. <laughs> And what they do is they enable your body to uh, basically be a transmitter of authentific uh, authenticating, like whatever your car, your phone, oh. Um, oh. your house, like the door to your house, you know, your credit card, you name it, whatever. Uh, and so, like you know, being on you know the being so close to the hand that feeds you, so to speak, it, it, if the, they're the 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 chick um the head of DARPA who is like also the head of Google I don't know what she's doing now super right? yeah <laughs> she was talking about it and how like they want to implement it along with the tattoos that you were talking about mm -hmm. super creepy. then they could just turn things off whenever <coughs> yeah, so they want to exactly <coughs> so yeah breaking away from that system those revolutionary things that are happening John that you were mentioning definitely are gonna you know going to be the things that are <laughs> going to fight back whatever kind of all oh, crap. It's going to be hard to get. It's going to be coming down. Because they have the monopoly on forces and, and the science of the technology and defense. The equipment that doesn't you know, have, and they all, have all these all things the already in it. Tes Tesla technology that they confiscated after his death and the weaponry that he, he developed was just insane. So Wilhelm you know, Reich, too, is another one. Wilhelm Reich is another. I mean, yeah, they have. They're, I've heard that the U.S. government is like, what? From like a reliable source, like anywhere from what well, I forget what it was, thirty-five to fifty years ahead of what mm -hmm. we're even aware of, and we're yeah. aware of some crazy shit. <laughs> that's <laughs> the scary part. That's the know. this is that's the part that's just like mind blowing to me. So I mean, yeah, in the struggle. Well, like the freedom. Harrier. You remember when the Harrier got declassified, right? Um, in remind me. Early. What was it? Nineties. Sounds about right. But. That thing was okay. operational in the 70s. There you go. Yeah. So I, I mean, think most people that years. see UFOs sometimes are probably just seeing, like, government spacecraft. There could yeah. be a lot of it re replicating yeah. or reverse engineering or just straight up, you know, who knows. And that's all. We could, well, we, they've we done, done they've a done, UFO episode, they've done, have we? Or, like, I'm aliens. Sure. Ancient uh, aliens episode? We haven't done that ancient uh, aliens episode? I'm going to do my oh. hair all <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it's aliens, but, but it's, it's, it's aliens. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, if Riley's going to put that much product in his hair, can we have the fire? You know what I mean? Uh, like, that's, so, that's so flammable, man. It like, all depends, we, because uh, on, well, a number of factors, I'm sure, but... Uh, one of which... We'll just shield <laughs> Riley. Uh, with a number of things. 
I'm, I feel so, so well read right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, you know what else uh, aliens could be? What's that? Robots. That's what I was going for. <laughs> like, that's what I was reaching for. But like, what if they developed a, the, a super sophisticated robot to collect information and let an android, if you will? And like, mm. and, if you will. And, and right. heat and sh- like a sex heat. robot? Heat. Collecting information? I, I bet you could make them. I suppose you could, yeah. Have, yeah. Some, oh, have a robot. Oh, what, have what if the yeah. government gives them out to maybe people? That's, maybe that's a no robot. Yeah, benefits. <laughs> benefits for people who can't get erectile, have erectile dysfunction. They give out these robots to these people. Well, you know, Is that moral? How, if they do that, these sentient yeah, robots. But how shitty would like, hey guys, government supply I, I like, sex robots hey, be? We're, just be so we're out of time, guys. It would talk to you. It could hold a conversation. Hey, hey, we're out of time, money. (laughs) Have a good one.